I certainly wasn't expecting you all to show up now of all times. You were heading to Bose last I heard. We were, yes. The paranoid little part of me can't help but wonder if this is intentional. Well, I'm not going to complain about having you around. Anyway, I do believe this is the first time we've seen each other since you went off to train, uh, went off to train Estelle. You look right at home in that new outfit. Ah, uh, Ina? I, I forget how I, anyways, uh, you, you, you'll make me blush. Uh, Mr. Vathic, Lady Claudia, Miss Russell, I believe this is the first we've met. I'm Ina, the receptionist for the Roland Ranch. Pleasure to meet you all. The pleasure is mine, Miss Ina. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you at last, Ina. I've heard a lot about you. Really, I wonder. Oh, and Olivier is here too. What are you doing over there, Olivier? <laughs> uh, don't uh, mind me. I was certainly not flashing back to memories of the destruction of my liver, just for the record. What? Just let him be, Ina. Oh, and I'm guessing you know Agate, Ina. We've met, yeah. I don't come up by Roland much, so we've only met like once or twice. It's still good to see you again though, Agate. So with the pleasantries out of the way, uh, I'm sorry, but do you mind if we get straight to business? Of course, Ina, go ahead. This fog appeared suddenly today around dawn. At first it seemed to be little more than the usual light mist we get here at times. But, uh, but you could literally stand outside and watch it grow thicker. It was eerie. Do we have any idea what's causing it? None, I'm afraid. It's definitely covering all of the city, but we're not sure of its full extent or source yet. Fog and mist have several common sources. You can get the sort that springs up off coast and flows inland or the kind that forms in mountain basins. There are several basins in the Crone Mountains near Roland, are there not? There are, yes. It is possible this is simply a freak uh, act of nature. But with everything that's been happening recently, we should be on our guard. Uh, should we put off heading for Bose and remain in Roland for now? That's the best idea, I think. Passenger ships sure, uh, sure aren't moving uh, till this soup clears up, or clears anyway. But, what's up, Estelle? Well, I was just thinking about the bandits and stuff. Uh, we were checking that out because we had no other leads, remember? The Royal Army is on top of that anyway, so we don't uh, really have to go, you know. But, look, what is it? Something eating at you? No, but it's just I... Spit it out, sucker. Estelle, not exactly sure what you're thinking, but calm down and consider for a moment. Huh? The bandit ship uh, theft case is already over, in a way. If they'd taken hostages, it'd be different. But as it is, there's no emergency demanding we take action. And I can't imagine they'll stay in bows in any event. Oh, but fog is an emergency. That's true, but on the other hand, something bizarre is happening before our eyes at this very moment. If the society is somehow behind this, there's a good chance Roland is in danger. You could say the exact same thing about the theft of the skyship. Literally the exact same thing. <sighs> so which is the correct choice here? Estelle. Shara, I think Estelle has a reason she wants to go. So, um... No, Tita. Shara's right. Estelle. Sorry, Shara. I guess I wasn't really paying attention to what's happening. You don't need to apologize. Everyone has times they have trouble focusing. Even I do, and I know Agate sure does. Now hang on, uh, uh, being able to determine the best path without losing sight of yourself is a crucial skill for a bracer, even if it is a bit easier to just say it's important than it is to actually do it. I'm still a student on that front too, really. I can hardly compare it to Master Cassius in that regard. Really, Zen, to possess perfect clarity and retain one's good cheer in the face of adversity, it requires experience. Master Cassius's ability to do just that saved us many times when he traveled to Calvard once. I didn't know that. Hey, don't sweat it, alright? Uh, not as if you can just snap your fingers and uh, be at the old man's level. I really don't like when the text box is right there because it's kind of hard to read the, the letters. 
Uh, you just gotta put one foot in front of the other and get better, bit by bit. Yeah, thanks guys. Sorry, Anna, that kind of sidetracked us. It's fine. So, getting back to the matter at hand, at this point, there's nothing really specific we can do. Uh, we can ask you to do. You can hardly beat fog with violence, after all. I'd simply ask that you be on standby in case anything does happen. You can wait at your home if you'd like, Estelle. Oh yeah, I was uh, going to head home for a bit. Uh, there's anything else we can watch out for besides that, though? Well, if you absolutely want to do something, uh, could I ask you to check the roads for me? The roads? What for? The fog is covering the entirety of the city. However, it also seems to have spread out into the countryside. The thing is, I don't know how far it's spread yet. If you could, uh, if you could go see how far it's gone, it would be—it would help me consider where we go from here. And we also need to secure land routes in case the passenger ships continue to be unusable. Exactly. Uh, there is the Elise Highway to the south, the Milch Main Road to the west and the Malga Trail to the north. Could you check those three and let me know the extent of the fog? Sure, that should be pretty easy. Well then, for once, this means Estelle and I will be the guides. Yeah, kind of a change, huh? We know pretty much everything about Roland. Well, we'll be going with you then. Oh, that means I, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Huh. I mean, I guess I'm bringing Agate. Leave it to me. And I was just talking about how Shara just doesn't quite fit. This is ridiculous. I know this city like the back of my hand and I still feel like I could get lost in this soup. And that, Estelle, is why you have a map and compass. If you feel like you're losing direction, uh, be sure and keep an eye on them. Yeah, good point. Okay, so we need to check just how far the fog spread on the roads, but... Agate, Olivier? Uh, do you mind if we stop by my house and see how things are there? Sure, no problem. Estelle's home? Oh, this should be quite the detour. Well, let's be off then. I guess we're missing out on a, on a scene with one boy Slice, but, you know, stuff happens. Stellan Sherizard, how's it going? Been a while, good to see you. What's up, Freddy? Look like you're doing pretty well. I went off to Zeiss and studied the new model, model ornaments, after all. A good chance to brush up on my skills and learn something new. Wait, you were over in Zeiss too? It's too bad I didn't get a chance to meet you. Went to the Central Factory loads of times too. I wonder if we could have met him. Uh, still, it's great to hear our local orbital expert has leveled up, so to speak. How about you show off what you learn? Yeah, okay, say the word. I've tuned everything great. Stop talking to me. Just know the basic stuff. Although, we're probably going to save up for another action three. A strike. Ooh, 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 that's a new one. The peacock. We do not have one of those. And after seeing uh, EP Cut 4 on Joshua, you know, I'd like to get one of those. The. Gate has one left. Olivier. You're my caster. I don't want why haven't I been upgrading Olivier's? Did you have anything upgraded? This is ridiculous. I get you at the end of the game and you don't have nothing. Nothing. Um do you have the action three? I guess it's fine for right now. You want to check? Did I? Okay, so I did not get. Uh, what's his face? His stuff. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. What are we getting rid of for that? I 
Could get rid of range. That'll give us a tier all. Blockuria. Um about Oh, that can only go there. Hmm. Or wait. I guess I guess that's a mirage slot. It's kinda hard to to tell. Oh. No, yeah. I guess that's only a mirage slot. It is very hard to tell. And I am confused. Um... I mean, I guess I have to get rid of range. Oh, that's arts range. That's actually pretty good. I like that a lot. I get rid of Petrify, we lose... Um... Thalus. Oh, I need to remove this. Put DP cut. We put Petrify there. So if I do that, I do lose Thalus. Is not good. <sighs> I guess we'll have to get rid of rain. A little disappointing. But ingenuity is just too good to not have. Too good to not have. If it isn't Estelle, blah, 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 blah. That's great. We recognize you guys and you're fantastic. Let's, uh, give me, give me, give me your, uh, yeah, your yammering. Joshua's whereabouts, that's great. Jesus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alrighty. You know, it's... Is it so much to ask for just to... to have people not talk to me like that? Um, oh, things are starting to get a little expensive here. Um, we're gonna need... We'll get three. We can always sell our old equipment as well. If I ever need money. Huge upgrade for her. Alright, the dragoon. Oh, for some reason we still have this gun. I thought we gave it back. What is those question? Oops. Well, well, we'll mark. Well, no. We'll wait until the 30th. Alrighty. Let's go to the house. Sure, it's burned down or something. Nobody's been here to maintain it. Windows are open. Probably monsters and spiders in there. Doesn't look like much fog's gotten here yet. Ah, so this is the bright home, is it? 
Never realized how nice a place the old man had. I really think so, thanks. Well, anyway, I can fix everyone some tea or something at least. Come on inside. I'll handle making the tea. You head on up to the rooms upstairs. Uh, why? Look up, Estelle. Alright. The house is going to be pretty damp in this fog. It's always relaxing to get back home. I wonder how much uh, of that is because we're out of that fog, though. Hey, it's a typo. Uh, that's part of it, I'm sure. You know, Sherazard, you sure do seem to know your way around this place. Of course I do. I've known this house for a long time, a very long time. Yeah, you've been coming over since Mom was alive, so that's over ten years. Wow, it has been a while. About that. Uh, about that, give or take a few gray hairs. I believe you were part of a traveling circus troupe in your early life, yes? I must confess, uh, I'm curious to hear how you met Estelle. Well, you see... Shara, you don't need to. It's fine. It's an old story. It would have been about 12 years ago now. Our troupe had come to Roland to perform. It's the last one. The last, uh, I keep wanting to say apple cinnamon. Uh, Estelle at that point was even more fearless and curious than she is now. After one of our shows, she strode into our tents with purpose, the purpose of playing. Circus troops uh, usually get met with some suspicious, uh, suspicion by residents of a town outside of performances, you see. As a result, we weren't really sure what to do at first with this girl who came to visit us. But you see, Stell wasn't exactly a timid girl. She kept coming over every day and everyone came to really love her. Myself especially, of course. One day, Estelle didn't want to go home until long after the sun had set. Since there wasn't any other choice, I ended up being the one who took her home. That's when I met Cassius and Lena. Uh, pardon, Lena, or Lena, is uh, Estelle's late mother. Yeah, that sounds kind of familiar. So the, fundamental, uh, the, so, ah, so the fundamentals of our Estelle's bravery were present even then. Well, I don't really remember that. Uh, that much of it since I was like four back then, but I do remember Shara would come uh, come by our house anytime the circus was in town after that. That's right. But uh, Sherazard, if you were part of a traveling circus, how'd you end up in La Burl as a bracer? You could say a lot happened. Eight years ago, when I decided I wanted to be a bracer, I came to La Burl to ask Cassius for help. I've been in La Burl ever since. I get it. So you're tied to the to the old man. One thing I've been curious about, was Joshua part of the household in those days? Um, no. Joshua came to live uh, with us three years after all that. Three years? She said she was four. Three years after that would mean she was seven. Then they spend five years together, which means that they would be 12, but they're 16 right now. Either I'm missing something, or, or that's a mistake. <clears throat> uh, actually, um, it could have been three. No, no. Yeah, it has to be a mistake no matter what. It can't be three years from today, and it can't be three years from then either. Uh, actually, he showed up uh, when you were in Gransel during your Junior Bracer tour, didn't he? That he did. I wandered the burl, spreading goodwill and flowers as a Bracer does, and returned home to find a boy I'd never seen living with Cassius and Estelle. To say it was a bit of a shock would be an understatement. Estelle and the others enjoyed some small talk as the morning sun tried to pierce the mist. Finally, with a little tea for the road, they left the bright house. Oh my gosh, they didn't, they didn't, well, 
I say they didn't talk or discuss anything. But uh, I guess there's plenty of time for that as soon as we leave. Oh, oh I can rest. We'll save and mark it.